Track Wrestling here, Camp Pendleton World Team Training Camp with World Team member Nick Wisdowski. You guys have gotten a chance to do a lot of cool stuff out here in the week or so you've been here. Yeah. Obstacle courses, you got, uh, you're going to be part of the firing range? You're going to be yeah, I'll be, I'll be down there. I'll be down there next week. Uh, it's been cool out here, a big change of pace from Colorado Springs. Um, a couple similarities, but uh, I enjoy it out here so far. It's, it's been good. The first weeks went fast and on uh, to the second week. Obstacle course, something that you guys, when you're out on the mat, it's just you and and another guy yeah. out there you're competing against. But you guys were working in a team setting. What are some of the things that, that you were doing there, and, and how were you able to mm, overcome a, some of those challenges? Yeah, it, it was fun. There was uh, some good, good different challenges that made you think and also used our uh, physical abilities. But when you're with five other guys, it's a lot easier because... You get five different inputs and uh, the way different people look at problems. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. We got to do that with our teammates, and uh, they've been super gracious to us and, and given us everything we need and going out of their way for us here. So uh, really grateful the Marines are, are a big part of USA Wrestling. Life in the barracks, what's that been like thus far? Uh, it hasn't been bad, honestly. Um, it's got better air conditioning than Colorado Springs, and the beds are the same. So... Um, I think it's, it's probably better. What were your thoughts when you first heard you guys were coming here? Uh, my first thoughts, I thought, he showed us some pictures of it, but I just kind of thought, oh, San Diego, it's on the beach, it'd probably be really like a vacation spot. Well, it's not a vacation spot, uh, but we're not here on vacation either, so um, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, um, but I, I, I enjoy it. I probably enjoy it more than Colorado. The, the gala. A lot of cool messages coming out of that, uh, the United States Wrestling Foundation Gala. Uh, the speakers uh, were, were really powerful. You've had a chance probably to interact with some of the Marines yeah. uh, this week on base. What are, are some of the things that have stood out about uh, that was those a, things? That was a very cool event. I've been to a couple different U.S. Wrestling Foundation events, and uh, they're working really hard to promote wrestling and, and build the build the energy behind it, but also put out what, what wrestling gives to people, and uh, that was a good event. I, I feel like they, they continue to grow, and, and more people behind them, and people understand what's important and, and how to continue to progress wrestling in the right direction, so that was a fun event. Those those type of formal events are fun. Um, I, don't, I don't get to a ton of them, so when you can dress up nice and meet some people that uh, are very influential, it's, it's fun. What's your story in this sport? How did you get started? What pulled you into wrestling? Um, my neighbors wrestled, and uh, I would fight with my brother a lot, so that, that kind of got me into it. And I was better at wrestling than he was, um, and I wasn't like as fast or I could jump as high and stuff like that. So um, that kind of found my groove and stuck with it. What uh, were key moments along the way where you really feel felt like you were getting somewhere, hmm. and, and that this uh, was the sport just, for you? Just just early success, nothing huge, just. I enjoyed it. I had fun. I had good coaches around me. Um, my parents let me do as much as I wanted to do or as little as I wanted to do and um, those type of things and I, and I stuck with it and I, I found success and I learned and I got better and it wasn't like one key moment I was like, poof, I, I'm going to make a living out of this. Like, I Maybe in high school I was like, oh, it'd be cool to wrestle in college. I might be good enough to wrestle in college. And then in college I got to a point where like, oh, I think I'm good enough to do this after college. And now I'm at the point where, like, I think I'm good enough to be the best guy in the world. So it uh, just kind of progresses. Was it uh, something you fell in love with from the start or take uh, a little yeah, time? I've always, I've always enjoyed it. It's not like I there's a point where I wanted to quit growing up. Like, I always look forward to wrestling or look forward to uh, wrestling season. So those type of things uh, probably have helped me get to where I am because I enjoyed it. And it wasn't like, oh, i got to go wrestle. Like, no, I, I enjoyed it and look forward to it. 2017, huge jumps from the beginning of the year to the World Championships and winning a bronze in Paris. What are takeaways from 2018 of uh, what you've accomplished to this point, what you've learned? Um, I, there's there's definitely things I need to improve on. I've learned some things. I think I'm a better wrestler now, but also I'm, I'm wrestling guys that are giving me better, better efforts. They, they, they know who I am, what I like to do, so you, you bring different looks out of people. And... Um, I need to continue to get better, and we got a little less than 60 days until um, Budapest, and uh, we'll just continue to improve and be in our best shape and, and 
have everything clicking for when we show up.